The National Nuclear Research Institute of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission was established in 1963 by Act 204. The institute is responsible for the operation of all nuclear facilities in Ghana. Dr. Samuel Ganyoglu outlined the benefits of the gas chromatography and mass spectrometry equipment to the Environmental Resources Research Center. The major problem confronting our research activities is inadequate resources. The Environmental Resources Research Center is the least resource center in the institute. They are responsible for conducting organic contaminants in biological samples comprising human blood, urine, women, resident, environmental samples comprising soil, air, water, food, and food of plant origin, and hazardous chemicals comprising of emerging pollutants, petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, and cosmetics. The better equipment required for this determination is to ensure human safety and the safety of our environment is the gas of every mass to be the TCEMS. The Chief Executive of the National Petroleum Authority, Mustafa Abdul Hamid, emphasized that the partnership between the MPA and the National Nuclear Research Institute is essential. Well, it's not even as if um, a collaboration between MP, MPA and the National Nuclear Research Institute is a choice that we have to make. I mean, to the extent that we deal with chemicals, we deal with petrochemicals and so on, and to the extent that they are a foremost research institution also dealing with chemicals and petrochemical products and so on and so on, that collaboration becomes like a necessity. Additionally, the director of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, Professor Samuel Bwachi Dampare, outlined the benefits of the new machine to the institute. Where the, the machine is being hosted is one of the centers. And the work that they are doing, we realized that the machine that they were using previously had broken down. So it means that they didn't have anything to work with. So this one, the equipment that we have now, is really timely and it can do so many things. You know, we are using it to analyze environmental and human samples. For example, the most important thing that we can use it for is when we are talking about organic residues, organic contaminants. It may be blood, breast, milk, soil, water, and then petrochemicals. So once that we have this equipment, it means that our research will have something to work with. The GCMS equipment is generally used to analyze small, relatively non-polar compounds and is widely utilized in fields such as forensics, food safety, environmental monitoring, and petrochemicals, amongst others.